I'm part of the administration here at Jumana. And you've mentioned the bond that has allowed us to have uh, significant funding for a new building here at the Jumana campus. What advice can you give us to help convince our business partners that in order for that building to be built, we will need approximately two and a half million dollars before we can do that, or we will not be able to take advantage of that bond funding that is now made available. So part of our challenge with the business community is to make the case that you know, in the past there was the expectation that most of most of education, these public education would be fully funded by public tax dollars. Increasingly that's not the case. I mean, again, we use UVA as an example. They're down to about 20% of their money comes from the public, the balance comes from either private support, tuition, other things. Anyway, the community college where so much is really done, particularly in terms of economic development, doesn't have the kind of donor base that's going to immediately get it. So it really has to become, you have to build the business case with the business community. And one of the things that I would be happy to do, uh, whether I get hired or not, is come back at some point and make that pitch to the business community if people will give me the briefs on the specific building and about what we need to do. I mean, this is, there is no, you know, one of the things about, about this region, and I want to, I know we've got French professors, so I want to try to say this you know, in, 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 uh, the right way. Um, you know, there are many, many regions around Virginia that would give their white arm for the economic activity and growth you've got in the Frederick You know, part of the, I think, the challenge that this community has got, and why I'm so happy to hear that you're thinking, you've know, gone to India and you're doing these other things, is not just about attracting jobs, but attracting world-class jobs. You don't want to be just the, the um, you know, uh, lower income jobs for Fairfax County. This is a community that, in its own right, is world-class. And you know, at the end of the day, to have that kind of world-class standard, you, you know, you're blessed with a great community college, you're great, blessed with University of Mary Washington. You know, you've got the intellectual training assets here. And um, the community just has to think that way as well. Uh, and that's part of the mindset, I think, that, you know, to continue to think world-class all the time.